The English language is famous for having rules that don't make sense. Welcome to Top Hits. If you didn't subscribe yet, do it for more videos and hit the bell icon to know when we are uploading. Have you ever wondered how come there are silent letters in some words, like death, where we don't find any B while pronouncing? Some letters are pronounced, some aren't, and there's no real system for figuring out when to pronounce and when not to. In fact, 17 letters out of 26 in our alphabet are silent in some words. And that's a conservative estimate. Silent letters confuse English language learners of all ages, and native speakers can't even explain why they are there. It's time that we get to the bottom of the spelling and pronunciation mystery. The English language has been written down for more than a thousand years which means it's had plenty of time to borrow and twist around the words from other languages. For example, consider Greek words like psychology and Japanese word like tsunami, because English language doesn't have the Greek letter psi or psi or the Japanese character tsu. We have to improvise with our own alphabet and spell them out the best as we can. But we don't generally use PS or TS sounds to start words in English, so instead, many people skip pronouncing them. Other words are cognates or linguistic relatives of word from other languages. Night, with its silent K and silent GH, is related to German and Dutch words knecht, which is pronounced so fully that it almost sounds like connect. When in doubt, a good dictionary can help you figure out which words have roots in German, Latin, Greek or Japanese, which can tell you which letters might be silent. So that's all for today. Like if you have found it interesting and share for others to know. Thanks for watching.